So for those of you who haven't had this kind of experience that James is describing, I will just say that understand that as we go through our, as we are in our sadhana, as we are in life itself every day, and we become more and more aware in all different circumstances, and we, we master in some way this ability to sort of retrieve attention from where it's gone, that what happens is that as we become more and more prone, we can say, more and more used to this kind of subtle awareness being present all the time, we start to see other aspects of expanding awareness or consciousness. And what James is describing is another aspect of expanding awareness or consciousness. <laughs> Meaning that in the beginning, the focus is on retrieving attention from this having gone out into me, mine, and the world back into being. And then as this becomes the more subtle place which we are resting throughout most of our experience, there is this recognition that begins to happen that all of this that I have withdrawn from before is only a manifestation of this life itself. So now all of this becomes that. So where before I needed to withdraw in some way and stabilize and become firm and mature in this understanding that I am before all of this, now the capacity to embrace all of this and to recognize that this, all of this, is that which I am. This then begins to flower. In Tibetan practice, they speak of an hourglass kind of experience, that what concentration and focus does is draws the attention back in toward the center of being. And when the self is realized or recognition has occurred, then it opens again, that this is the direct perception of what happens at the moment that realization begins to flower. <coughs> then one sees that not only is there no separation, there is only one. All of this is that. So, Know this experience when you begin to have it, such as James is doing. You see, we are led not just by teachings and books and videos. We are also led at a certain point by the mind, which has been drawn inside and then begins to flow out again into the recognition that all of this is that. This mind now, which is speaking and saying, notice that all of this is that. This mind is the mind which is free of me. One can still ask the question, whose mind is saying this? <laughs> but there's a clear recognition that this is not the ego mind, which is speaking. That this, in some way, is the self. The self is now saying, notice this, all of this is myself. This is the foundation of the statement, I am that. All of this is myself. Within each and every one of you is the capacity to know the truth. Have full faith that as you engage in your sadhana through the use of guru, chanting, devotion, 
meditation, dhyana, whatever method you are employing at the moment, all of that that appears still to be outside of you is actually coming from within you. That which, is, which appears before you is not other than the self. You are not other than the self. Trust that life itself, as it's manifesting through you, as truth, is your guide. Go ahead fearlessly. <laughs> <laughs>